the custom paint widget. And by using the custom paint, we can create something like this. This is like Pac-Man with a text over it. So inside a center widget, I will use the custom paint. This one will need the child, which will be a text widget, and a painter. We will need to create the demo painter for this. The text will be just, this is Pac-Man, with a text style inside. The color will be black, the background color white, and the font size 30. But now it's time to create the demo painter. And for this, you will need to create a class that extend the custom painter. And you see that you have an error, and this is because you need to override the void paint and the boolean should repaint. For this one, we'll just return false, but you can return true if you want. For the void paint that we have inside the canvas and the size, what we will do is we will create a variable center with the size divided by two. We will create a paint. This one will be the paint color equal to yellow, the color of the Pac-Man. And for the canvas, we will say draw an arc. Inside this one, we have the rect double double boolean paint. So for the rect, we will say rect dot from center. Inside we have the center, the width and the height. For the starting goal, it will be 0.4 and the whip and goal will be this. We will say the U center equal true. And at the end, we will put the paint that we have created with the variable. And just like this, you have used the custom paint widget with your Flutter app.